Hi, everyone. Welcome to Building Games on AWS. This is episode six of the Game Analytics Pipeline series. My name is Gina Gizzi. I'm a solutions architect with AWS Game Tech. And in today's episode, we're going to begin coding in Unity so that we can integrate our game analytics pipeline with our Peculiar Wizards game. In this series, we're only going to focus on the SDK integration portion of things. You can do API integration as discussed in the last episode by setting up an API gateway HTTP endpoint and making a Unity web request to send data to that API endpoint. But as I mentioned in today's episode, we're only going to focus on the SDK portion of things. So let's get started. So I have my Unity game open. This is a game developed by one of my coworkers here at AWS called Peculiar Wizards. I'll actually leave a link in the description to the GitHub repository that has this Unity package in it so you can download it and follow along if you'd like. But basically what this game is, is it's just a UI really for testing and for integrating various AWS services like Cognito or the Game Analytics Pipeline, for example. Uh, so with this, there is a section to integrate Cognito, which we're not going to focus on today, but that'll probably be covered in a later series down the road. I already created a user account. So let me just log into that user account. And then what this game is, it's just, uh, it allows players to purchase coins to then use those coins to purchase various wizard hats so that they can dress up their wizard character. And what we really want to do here is we want to instrument our game to emit game data so that we can analyze which wizard hats are the most popular and which are the least popular. So first things first, if we're going to do SDK integration, actually integrate the game analytics pipeline with Unity through the AWS SDKs that we provide, there are two different ways to download the SDKs. And that's what we need to do is download these SDKs, right? So you can either grab the NuGet packages in Visual Studio or from our AWS owned GitHub repositories that I'll be sure to link in the description below. I personally feel like the easiest method is to use the Visual Studio community, which is provided with the latest versions of Unity Pro. So what I'm going to do here is open Visual Studio by just clicking on a script that we're going to analyze later. It's called the Event Manager script. And we'll make sure to... Uh, you know, go through all of this code to, you know, summarize what's going on and what we need to do to be able to integrate it with our game analytics pipeline. But first things first, we need to integrate the SDK. So open Visual Studio, select project, manage NuGet packages, and then you search for the SDKs that you want to download. So for the game analytics pipeline, we need to download the AWS SDK core. So this one right here. And so make sure that you click add package. I already did this. So for the sake of this video, I won't be re-adding the packages. So the AWS SDK core and then the AWS SDK Kinesis. Make sure to add this one as well. So now that we've covered how to download the SDK packages, let's explore this AWS SDK code in the events manager script of this peculiar wizards game. Again, I'll leave the link in the description so you can download and explore this code yourself if you want to follow along with me. I just want to make a disclaimer also that this is not production ready code. It's just for tutorial purposes only. I won't go through this entire code, but let's just focus on the SDK stuff here and give kind of like a high level overview of what exactly this code is doing. So first we're batching up our records and creating a list that holds our records. We specify a Kinesis stream name, which is the name of the Kinesis data stream that's deployed with the game analytics pipeline solution. And I'll show you where to find that value soon. We also need to create a Kinesis client here on line 26, uh, which is a client for accessing Kinesis through the SDK. We do this by passing in our AWS Cognito uh, credentials as well as the region at which the stream exists. 
And then from there, we have various game events that we're creating that we want to send to our game event stream. For example, we have a login event. We have a sign up event when the user signs up for a new account, when they log into a new account, when they make a transaction. We want to be sure that we're emitting game events for all of the different types of data that we want to collect, right? Then what we're doing is we're constructing our record with the right schema that the game analytics pipeline expects depending on the game event that happens and the type of data that we actually want to send to the solution and then finally down here we're creating a put records request here's our put records function and we're creating this request using the aws sdk to send data to the kinesis stream so we're serializing our data in json and then we're creating a put record uh, request which you can see right here it's a put records asynchronous request we want to make sure that it's a asynchronous task so that the calls aren't blocking any other game activity or calls that we do need to make but finally we make this put records task uh, and then we send our data to our kinesis stream and hopefully if all works smoothly we'll get a successful response back from the kinesis service so there are two variables that we're going to need to copy over into our Unity code to get this to work. So to find those variables, you go to CloudFormation and you find the CloudFormation stack that we spun up for the game analytics pipeline and then go to outputs. There's two variables that we need. So the first one is the game event stream and we copy the value of this game event stream and this is the Kinesis data stream that gets spun up with the solution. And the second one is the test application ID. So I'm going to copy the game event stream and uh, go back to our code and here on line 25 where it says stream name, I'm going to paste the stream name value. Then I'm going to scroll down to find the uh, application ID that we need, which is right here on line 156. So I'll go back to CloudFormation I'll copy the test application ID and paste that in here and then save. Okay, so let's see this in action. So I'm just going to log in again uh, using an account uh, through a user pool that we set up with Amazon Cognito, again, which isn't covered, but will probably be covered in a series in the future. And if all should work well, which hopefully it does, we'll click around and generate sample events, which will be added to a record. And once that record reaches, uh, that record list reaches a certain batch size, it'll be sent to Amazon Kinesis. So for example, if I click the lavender hat, we'll see that the lavender hat was purchased and that record was added to the list. I don't mind this exception up here. This is just a Cognito identity provider exception that says user not confirmed. So when I signed up for an account, it sends an email to my email address and I'm just supposed to confirm that account and I haven't yet. So that's why you're seeing that in the uh, console. But if I click Lime, Lime hat purchase, it's added to the record list. Let's see. Uh, if I buy the unicorn hat, it says unicorn hat purchase, that's also added. If I make a, a gem purchase, small coin pack purchased right here, and then it reached the batch size, so all of the records were formatted and then sent to uh, Amazon Kinesis, so you can see a sample of the schema of the game event data that was actually sent. Uh, it formatted the record and then the event was sent successfully. So that's it for today's episode. As always, please leave a comment in the comment section below if there are any tutorials that you would like to see. And stay tuned for next episode where we'll do a deep dive on streaming analytics.